Hello everyone, this is Rhino with a very brief guide on HORAS. Before we get into it, I'd like to make one point. The most important piece of gear that ensures you enjoy a flight or space sim is not the stick, throttle, or rudder pedals, but some form of head tracking. There are many options out there, ranging from about $10 to very expensive VR headsets. Whatever your budget, do a little research and allocate some funds to a head tracker from the start. Now, regarding HODAS, one of the most commonly asked questions on stream is, I would like to try flight or space sims, which HODAS should I buy? At the time of this video, early 2022, the answer is pretty simple. The value of the Thrustmaster T16000M is unbeatable right now, and I recommend this as the entry-level HODAS to everyone for several reasons. 1. The price. It costs about $200 uh, for the throttle and stick version, or $270 including the rudder pedals. 2. It uses Hall Effect magnetic sensors, which ensure great accuracy and durability. Cheaper flight sticks use potentiometers, which degrade with time, resulting in axis twitching or fluttering, making that peripheral unusable. 3. The Thrustmaster target software. Is incredibly versatile, allowing you to set up complex functions, macros, shift buttons or modes. It greatly extends the HODAS's capability, compensating for its relative lack of hats and switches. Regarding the rudder pedals, although useful and increasing realism, do not worry about them right now. The HODAS has two ways to control the rudder. One is twisting the stick, or you can use the rocker on the front of the throttle to control the rudder axis. I highly recommend that you try using the rocker on your throttle as twisting the stick will invariably cause some minute movement in the X or Y axis, degrading your accuracy and also a fact that most people do not take into account. It induces wrist strain with time. Trust me, it doesn't seem like much right now, but you do not want that later in life. For those of you with an extremely limited budget, the option that I recommend is the Thrustmaster T-Flight HODAS X. It costs only about $80, and while it does not have magnetic sensors, the build quality is excellent, and I can personally vouch for it. I have used it intensively for about two years flying Isle 2, and it held up admirably. It also has the merit of being the most comfortable stick I have ever held. The main disadvantage is the extreme scarcity of hats and buttons. This can be mitigated um, by using the Thrustmaster target software, but whatever you fly, you will suffer from the lack of inputs on any modern flight or space sim. Like the 16000M, you can opt for twist stick or the thrall rudder, um, and the same recommendation as above holds true. Please try to use the rocker. Your wrist will thank you in a few years. I hope this short guide is useful. If it was and you enjoyed it, you know what to do with the buttons below. I stream on twitch.tv slash rhino. Always happy to answer questions regarding to gear or flight sims. Stop by sometimes. This is Rhino signing off.